Okay, so here is my half pad before washing, and it doesn't look too dirty, but I can definitely see there's crustiness here, which is kind of gross, um, but not bad, really, if you look at it. Um, I really, really love this half pad, but I don't think they make this exact one anymore. It's from, obviously, whores.com. Um, and it's 100% sheep skin, so I did get some wash for the sheep skin. And the first thing that you have to do to get it clean is to brush it. Um, so I have my brush. This is actually my dog's brush, but it's the right kind. So first things first is that I got to get this brush clean. And you just are supposed to brush it to get out dirt um, and fluff it up. And no sheepskin's coming off yet. No fur is coming off yet. It's getting a little bit fluffier. So I'm going to do this for a while, and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so here it is brushed out a little bit. It's a lot fluffier here, and I did shake it out quite a bit too. Um, I noticed there's a spot right here that was losing fur at the edge, but it was just at the seam, so no big deal. Um, and this is all that came off of it. So there's shavings and dirt and a little bit of the sheepskin, but off this whole pad, that's all that came off. That's pretty good. Okay, so I put the pad in my washing machine and it does say that you can wash it in cold water um, in a machine. So hopefully that's true. So our washing machine does not let you select the um, the volume of the load. It's automatically detected. So the best I can do is tell it to be deep water wash. And I want it, um, soil level is going to be uh, heavy, but because I know my washing machine, my washing machine does not agitate very much at all. Um, if you have a, a washing machine that really agitates, then um, like powerfully, you don't want to do that. You want it to be on the gentle cycle. But mine, uh, my regular heavy and light, all that means is how long it agitates. But it really agitates very, very gently. And that's why I can't wash saddle pads in it because they don't get clean. That's why if I have really, really dirty clothes, um, they won't get clean in here. So uh, I'm putting it on heavy and I'm going to do um, pre-soak, but not extra rinse. Can you even see this? There we go. No extra rinse. Deep water wash so it has extra water. Um, and then my kookaburra, let's see. So this one is for sheepskins and wool. No, not wool. I don't even know exactly what it can do, but I know that this one does do sheepskins. Um, and it says sheepskin care, two ounces per skin um, to launder and maintain comfort and therapeutic properties. And high temperature medical fleece. I don't have high temperature medical fleece, but it's got this handy little measurer on it. So I need two ounces and that makes two squeezes of the measurer. Um, so I'm trying to organize all this stuff. Sorry, my washing machine lid's so dirty. So there's one ounce going in and then you squeeze and then you squeeze the bottle to fill that up again. And there's two ounce going in. Okay, so if this is the last time I see you, saddle pad, I'm sorry, but I hope that I'm doing it correctly. So, uh, okay. I'll see you in a little bit, saddle pad. I love you. Okay, I wanted to show you the extent of how much my washing machine doesn't agitate, if I can. Gotta figure out how to do this thing. It's got one of those stupid little locks.
Oh my god, I almost lost my phone. Hold on. Okay, so this is... This is the agitation of the machine. That's it. It's not very tough. It's much less than what it would be if I did it by hand. But you can already see the water's kind of dingy coming out. So that's pretty cool. I know that it's working. Hopefully it's not all dying. Um, because I don't want the pad, I don't want the pad to get any lighter. But I suppose I could just dye it again if I needed to. All right, as I mentioned before, it's still agitating, and this is really not that agitating. Uh, I think that this one will be done in another 30 minutes or so, maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I'll check back with you in a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. It says it's done. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, there's some loose, fibers, I guess, loose sheepskin there, um, but the pad, it did get spun, um, and it looks wet, I guess. It's kind of tore up worse than I expected. See all that? Um, but, I mean, that's not a big deal. As long as there's no gaping holes or gaps in it. I don't mind if a little bit of the sheepskin comes off. I mean, not the sheepskin, but the fibers, the fur itself. Um, it's not just like falling out. I think it's just where the seams are. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. See, this part is almost dry already, but what they want you to do is try and dry it off a little bit and then you have to put it in the sun um, I'm sorry, then you have to make sure that you don't put it in the sun and um, dry it off and then you're supposed to like manipulate it a little bit and stretch it out so that it's back to the original shape. Um, but I think, honestly, I didn't lose much shape. It still has the nice gentle curve that it had down the spine. Um, so I'm not really that worried about the shape right now, but we'll, I'll watch it as it dries, um, and see, and man, you can really see this color difference now that it's clean. Oh. Um, but my, the washing machine really does a good job of spinning it, because it's almost dry. It just feels damp right now. Um, so I'm going to squeeze it in some towels, and then I will lay it flat to dry and work it and pull it a little bit. Let me smell it. It smells really good. It smells really clean. Um, I don't smell any horse anymore. So, all right. We'll see how it turns out after it dries, but it's looking pretty good right now. Okay, so it's out of the wash and it's almost completely dry. And I'm so happy with how fluffy it is. Look at this. Fluffy, fluffy. It's super fluffy, especially where it didn't used to be fluffy anymore, where it was crushed down. Flip it inside out. Way, way better. And it's clean and it smells so good. So now that I know that the kookaburra wash works really well, I've got it here, sorry for the messy floor. I'm going to try it on my ECP pad. This thing is nasty dirty. It is filthy. Um, I bought it used and it was dirty when I got it uh, and then I never did anything about it. Uh, you can see, I mean it's supposed to be white and the underside I brushed it out a little bit already, but it's still, you can tell it's matted. Um, so that will be next. I am going to put some bleach in with it because I know that I like bleach a lot and our bleach is actually fairly gentle. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's the water. But I can usually use bleach on some fabrics that are colored and they don't go white or anything. So. This is the before of the ECP. 
nasty, dirty, sick, gross, disgusting. Um, and then I have this Roma. Now, I did not brush this one out yet because I figured I would get started on the ECP. But this one is badly matted. It's just a squish. Um, it's like, this is thin, but it used to be thicker. You can see here, it's thicker. Um, so it's just matted down up by the front of the saddle. So um, that's gonna take a lot of brushing, but I think the brushing will help a lot. And then the washing will help. It's not too terribly dirty as far as half pads go but I think that it's gonna look a lot different after the wash. So here's the before, nasty, a little dirty down by the back and by the front. A little dirty on the fabric. Um, that's what came off the horse one, not too bad. But I did find a little tear in some of the stitching, so that's probably why. Uh, Kookaburra wash. And it says two ounces for each sheepskin, so I fill this up. Oop. I fill this up. There we go. One and two. Okay, that's in there. And I'm probably just going to use like a quarter cup of bleach. Uh, brand new bleach. So, that's probably about good. In there now. And again, cold water, heavy soil level. That does not make it agitate harder, it just does it longer. Um, bulky sheets, and then no extra rinse, but yes, a pre-soak. There we go. See you in an hour. All right, so we're halfway through. I heard my washer cycle to the spin, so I decided to come out and check on it, and boy, I'm glad I did, because it is still filthy. So I'm going to run it again. Look at this. Filthy, still. Um, and I think there's even, that might be mildew, I'm not sure. Um, it smells like bleach and kookaburra mixed together, so I think I got the right amount of bleach and I think it just needs another cycle, hopefully just one more. I don't know, I don't want to soak it for a really long time, but it's got to get cleaner than this, because that's still really nasty. Okay, so this is what I'm saying is the final result of my other two half pads. Um, the pink looks really nice. It's got almost all the stains out, um, and the sheepskin feels really clean. The ECP pad, now, you saw how dirty it was. It was filthy. I washed it four times. Four times, okay? Um, and it still couldn't get out all the stains, but I used up all of my kookaburra wash. Um, the ECP pad is so awesome. Um, so this side I did not brush at all yet. This side I brushed a couple of times. And it is just amazing how much more shock absorption I'm going to get from this. If you can see how thick it is now. Um, based on how thin it was before because everything was just matted down. So again, not brushed yet and brushed lightly. Super, super thick and shock absorbing. And you can see the spine was really filthy and now it's just kind of dirty. So that's good. So this is my first ever half pad that I bought. This pad is probably um, 13 years old and this is really way better than I expected. If you remember, the edge by the front of the saddle was just completely squished down. And now it's fluffy again. 
it's not great, but it's way, way better. Um, I did not fully brush this one yet. I did give it a little bit of a once over, um, and it's way, way, way different, way fluffier. Um, it just feels like a pad that's only been used a couple times. Um, there's still some dirt here. Again, I'm not sure if the kookaburra wash is just too gentle, too mild to get out that dirt, but that's okay. I can always wash it again. Um, yeah, so, so much more fluffy there. That's good. That's really good. Um, overall, I'm really, really happy. I'm really surprised that they could get this much better. It's not perfect. Um, and I did order a new a used sheepskin from eBay just a couple days ago. And um, I'm going to end up washing that one too because it looks like it needs a little wash. But this is so amazing, these results. I can't even. It's so great. This is so soft right here. Oh my god. So off after all that washing and everything, I have clean half pads. And they smell like laundry, and it's so nice and wonderful. Um, I definitely am going to wash my half pads more often. I was really scared at first that they would not turn out right, and I was really scared that I would wreck them. So that's why I procrastinated for so long. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.